Welcome to the Thargoid Report. I'm Commander Burr. This is a weekly breakdown of the ongoing conflict with the Cone Sector Danger Daffodils and a guide to how you can get involved and make a difference. If you find this information useful then remember to hit the subscribe button to make sure you see all our future videos. The following stations were attacked by the laser lettuce this week and are currently burning like a Friday night vindaloo on a Saturday morning and are subject to ongoing rescue operations. In the Pleiades Nebula Agricola's Ascent in Pleiades Sector DLY D65 Calalieri in Electra and in the Witch Head Sector Ezra Point in Wellington. Linked below you'll find the Discord for the Post Disaster Evacuation Service that's an entire community dedicated to conducting rescue operations from the Fear Flower affected stations. There you'll find advice and be able to link up with other commanders participating in the relief efforts. They'll have the latest information on what stations to focus on. As well as evacuating civilians from these stations you can also help delivering food, water, basic medicines and natural fabrics to the affected stations. If you are going into a burning station bring all the heat sinks. Links to my previous videos on this subject are below. If you're looking to attack Terra Triffid Scouts then the following systems have been flagged by the Eagle Eye Sensor Network as having been targeted by the pesky pansies and should therefore be in a state of infestation. Pleiades Sector HRW D141, HR1183, Taygetta, HIP16813, Lembas and Evangelis. If you are engaging in scout combat operations you don't necessarily need specialised equipment but the entry level anti xeno weaponry requires no unlocking and it really helps. It's worth noting that the scout class vessels count as elite ranked ships so this is an excellent way to level up your combat rank. For the more hardcore combat zone encounters the following systems are under Danger Daffodil Incursion right now and will have combat zones that feature scouts as well as the larger interceptor class vessels. Pleiades Sector DLY D65 Electra Wellington. For the scouts and the death daisies I'd recommend decontamination limpets are added to your standard arsenal and you might want to think about taking shed loads of heat sinks as well. The cone sector critters will struggle to track you when you're cold. With the assistance of the AXI Discord all the systems I've listed this week are now presented in priority order. If you're looking to wing up with other commanders then you'll find a link below to the Discord server for the AXI. They're a really friendly bunch and whatever your level of competence they'll help you fight bugs. Wherever you go commanders remember pick your fights with care. If you want to get involved with repair efforts and help get damaged stations back online then head over to the Operation Ida Discord. Ida coordinate the rebuilding efforts for the wider galactic community and will have you covered on where to go and what to bring with you. All you need is a galactic map and a few cargo racks. They are also linked below. For updates throughout the week on everything we've talked about here Commander M. Graham of the AXI maintains a reddit post detailing every aspect of the death blossom conflict as it develops. That is also linked below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you find this information useful remember to subscribe to the channel and we'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs may all your high predictions be brief and don't let the alien murder flowers give you nightmares. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.